Bolivia, a country famous for its high mountains and its football-loving president. Its Olympic history, however, is patchy at best. In 12 previous Olympic Games, Bolivia has yet to secure any medal. Claudia Balderrama, however, is hoping to change that. She's preparing at altitudes of 3,800 meters before taking on the world's best in the 20-kilometer walk. In spite of her high-altitude training, her personal best is one hour and 35 minutes, and that's 10 minutes slower than the world record. But the 29-year-old psychologist is hoping to do Bolivia proud. A veces el boliviano piensa que... Often we Bolivians say we are too poor to achieve anything. We need to change this mentality, get rid of this negativity and start saying I can. I want to continue working every day and over there in London I am going to go up against the best in the world and know that I too am capable. With me, Bolivia will have a presence in London. To prepare properly, she has joined the Mexican walking team and their coach, former Olympian Raul Gonzalez. High altitude training pushes the body to produce more oxygen-rich red blood cells so that when athletes compete at sea level, in theory, they run faster. It isn't enough just to turn up. You have to work hard. The most important thing is to know how to train hard, because with the lack of oxygen comes physiological changes. These changes help when there is a drop in altitude. At sea level, results can improve by between 10 or 12 percent. Valderrama will need all the help that she can get if she is to have any chance against beating the favorite Russians and bringing home Bolivia's first ever Olympic medal. And that's what's going on. Thanks for watching our stories online. I'm Brian Andrews, reminding you to share our content with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. And follow me on Twitter, at Brian Andrews, for the latest news from Latin America.